Happy Monday! This is gonna maybe be an inappropriately drunk video for a Monday. Weird vibe to start your week with, but we're going with it! I am doing a video that was requested by, let me find who requested it, Livia. Livia, you are a genius. I just did a call on my Instagram asking whether I should film this afternoon, and Livia said I should film a drunk trash my TBR, except that it's a trash your TBR. You guys give me your TBRs and I trash them. I thought that was the best idea I've ever heard in my life, maybe, so thanks, Livia. So I just put up a post on Instagram telling you guys to send me your TBRs, and then I went for a walk, and now it's been like an hour and a half, and now I'm gonna trash everything that you guys sent me. Get ready to get insulted. Jesus, I have so many messages. Okay, whoo, this framing is terrible. Why am I sitting so far out the edge of the shot? Should we fix this? A lot of people sent me their TBRs, so, I'm not gonna be able to get to everyone's, but let's see what I can do. Starting with Livia, because this was her brilliant idea. Livia has sent me a bunch of books that I haven't read, but I have read from this Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, which, you know, is one of my favorite books by one of my favorite authors, but that's not what we're doing here, we're trashing it. So I will say Livia. Have you read any other Jane Austens? Is this the one you're gonna start with? Because if so, cliche way to be like everyone else in the world pride and prejudice is not even the best austin mr darcy is not the best austin hero by a million miles i would go so far as to say he's the worst and you know what i've never even seen the bbc adaptation i pretend i have because everyone loves it and i want to join in and i don't want to admit that i've actually just watched Colin Firth coming out of a lake on YouTube on repeat a few times, but I've never seen it because I think it looks boring and it's way too long. Victoria sent me a picture of her TBR. What do I recognize on here? Well, those are all really good. So sorry, Victoria, you're out. Okay, Kat from Paperback Dreams. She sent me her Goodreads TBR. Here's the thing about Kat is I feel like she hates all books ever. And I love that about her. Whenever I watch her videos, she's like, Oh, I thought this book was great. I gave it a two stars. Like, her bar is high. <gasps> if We Were Villains is on there, cat. let me tell you. Do not read If We Were Villains. Fuck no. Read The Secret History. If you want to read about unlikable, pretentious assholes at university, read The Secret History, because that's all that book is. But I gave that book a five star. If We Were Villains is the worst piece of shit I've ever wasted my eyes on. Not only are the characters pretentious, I could forgive them for being pretentious if they were also cool, but these are a bunch of Shakespeare students who, no, they're acting students, who just talk to each other in Shakespeare lines all the time. Like, at parties, they talk to each other in Shakespeare lines. Like, I would never be friends with these people in a million fucking years. I would have bullied them if we were at school together. Boy Parts is also on there, oh my god. Boy Parts is a book that I wish with every part of my soul that I had never read. I hated it so much. And it's actually not a criticism of the book. I think the book is pretty good. <laughs> I think it deserves like good reviews. I just wish I could take the part of my brain that read it out and smush it. But Kat, you know what? You might like it because Kat's like an evil little demon who likes like gory stuff. I hate gory stuff. And that's the reason I hated it. It has all the things I dislike. It had people throwing up. It had gore and it had just like very boring long descriptions of people doing drugs which i'm far too square to enjoy at all house of leaves oh my god what a long book house of leaves is one of those books that people just pretend to fucking bum it because they think it makes them sound cool and interesting and layered but actually nothing happened it's like the emperor's new clothes thing there are entire internet forums dedicated to everyone like analyzing every page for what it really means because they think that it makes them sound clever and they think like oh if you didn't understand house of leaves it's because you're not smart enough but actually it's because there was nothing to understand it was just like how many words can we throw around in a weird order on the page and i say this as someone who did the exact same thing i finished it and was like oh wow that was a very interesting book but it wasn't i was lying okay we're moving on to laura laura has a very long goodreads tbr so first thing i'm gonna say to you is trash half of that but particularly you have Fight Club on here, just skip it, watch the movie. The movie is 
great. The book is nothing. Harry Potter is on here. Laura, babe, trash it. If you haven't read it by now, you don't need to. Nobody needs to be reading these books in the year of our Lord 2020. JK Rowling can get to fuck. Okay, next Diana sent me her Goodreads. Ugh, you know what? A lot of these are on my TBR as well. Genuine fraud. Fucking trash it, babe. Trash it. Have you read The Talented Mr. Ripley or seen the film? Because if not, I recommend it. And if so, um, then you've already read Genuine Fraud, but better. Genuine Fraud was like shot for shot, word for word, the exact same thing. So why do we need the same book written again? No. One by One by Ruth Ware, I haven't read, but honestly, every time I've read any Ruth Ware, I've wished that I hadn't. Also on here is The Death of Mrs. Westaway, which I have read and wish that I hadn't. Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. Oh, I'm so sorry that I didn't like this one. I really want to like it because I like I like what she's doing, that she's expanding the definitions of poetry beyond just old dead white men. Like, that's great. I'm so proud of her. But the poems suck. I read Milk and Honey for my book club, and like, I could have written those poems. I could have just fallen over on my keyboard and written those poems. American Psycho is on here. Ew, 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 ew. I hate American Psycho. I hate everything Brett Easton Ellis has written. Well, I've only read two of them. I read American Psycho and I read Less Than Zero, and they were both disgusting, and they were not as clever as they thought they were. <sighs> I will never get those visions out of my head. I was reading American Psycho. I never finished it. I read like 75% of it before I had to do an effort because one time I was reading it on the way to work and I arrived at work and my colleague was like, oh my God, are you okay? Your face is literally green. I was feeling so nauseous. I had gone green. It's disgusting. Okay, we have another Emma here, Perfect Paperbacks. I have not read these books, but Midnight Sun is on here, and I'm just gonna tell you without even having read it, trash that. I was excited. Once upon a time, I was excited for Midnight Sun. I was a big Twilight stan back in the day, but everyone I've seen doing vlogs of reading Midnight Sun has had such a miserable experience that they have either DNF'd it or wished that they had. Here's the thing. I reread Twilight this year when they announced Midnight Sun in like anticipation, and I was such a huge fan of Twilight, the books and the movies. I had all of the merch. I was too old for them. I was not the right audience, but I still decided to dedicate myself to Twilight for at least like three years of my life. Um, and I reread it this year and it's fucking awful. So Midnight Sun is not gonna be good, babe, I'm sorry. My foot's gone dead. Heidi has Call Me By Your Name on her list. I haven't read that. I've seen the movie. Um, it was good, but like the peach scene was not necessary. Okay, Rasa sent me her 12 books she has to finish before the end of the year. Life of Pi, I haven't read, but that movie sucked. So if that's anything to go by. It was like three weeks long and there wasn't any pie in it. She also has Gingerbread on here. And I will say that Gingerbread by Helen Ayemi is a book that I genuinely adore, but I had to read it twice to get that feeling. The first time I read it, I was like, what the fuck was that? And the second time I loved it. So I like it, but if you don't want to read a book twice, that is worth considering. Connor wants to read The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Connor, don't waste your time. I have read that book twice, again, um, the first time I didn't like it, and then everyone started raving about it, so I thought, maybe I missed something, I'll read it again. I didn't miss anything. This applies, this is the same as House of Leaves. People love this book because they think they will sound clever if they loved it, but there is no shame in admitting none of us are clever enough. It's too confusing. It doesn't make sense. None of us can follow it. <sighs> At least I couldn't. Let Me Lie by Claire McIntosh. Also, not her best work. I love Claire McIntosh. And Let Me Lie, I just like fell asleep a little bit. Like, let me lie down and stop reading this book. Okay, Paige, Trash the Night Circus from your TBR. Same applies to that as House of Leaves and what was the other one I talked about, Seven Deaths. I would like people to stop pretending that books that don't make sense, make sense. Why can't we all just form a union of book lovers who don't understand confusing books where we can all be open and honest with each other and admit that they don't make sense, they never made sense. It's not us being stupid, they don't make sense. Okay, there's more. Meg's TBR is 267 books long, lol. Convenience store woman, trash it. Not as good as everyone said. Parable of the Sower, trash it. It's all about how like starting a new religion. I don't even like the religions we do have. I don't think we need any more of them. Meg, this list is so long. 
you need to delete this list. Oh, Midnight at the Bright Ideas Bookstore. I have here with a two star rating, but I like literally don't remember why I hated it. So that's unhelpful, but I remember hating it. So if you just want to like trust me implicitly, I would say trash it and I'm not even going to tell you why. Oh, I love this so much. So Mariana sent me a bunch of screenshots of her TBR and then put at the bottom, can you tell I watch your videos? And literally going through these pictures, I'm like every single book on here is a book that I have read and raved about. <laughs> so yeah, you do watch my videos. I love that. Uh, Mariana, you have trust exercise on here and I feel like I went hard trashing that one in my last balancing the books. It is a clever idea that I wish literally anyone else had written because the woman who did write it was, I think, actively trying to hurt me. Cammy, trash my brilliant friend. Everyone, trash my brilliant friend. We should all trash my brilliant friend. I'm technically still reading this one. I haven't even officially DNF'd it, but it was so boring and the people sucked. I didn't like them, I didn't hate them, I just didn't get what they were doing in my book. Those are the ones I can be bothered to answer. I feel bad, I still have so many messages. Loads of you responded already, which is so nice. And now I feel bad because that was only up for like two hours. People are gonna be sending me their TBRs for the next 22 hours of my life. <laughs> but I already filmed. I'm not gonna answer them, I'm so sorry. If I didn't trash your TBR, I'm truly sorry and you have permission to trash my channel publicly on Guru Gossip because nobody has yet. And I check Guru Gossip like every day. I just want to be relevant enough for somebody to trash me and nobody has. So if I haven't trashed your TBR and they've let you down, you have my permission to go and trash me on Guru Gossip. Um, and if I have, I hope that helped. And that was really fun. Thank you so much, Livia, for the best idea ever. I need to put this wine down now because apparently it is having a strong effect on me. I put it down my throat. Okay, well, happy Monday. What a strangely inappropriate start to the work week. I hope you all enjoy checking your emails now and I will see you soon. Goodbye. with my friends